Hi guys, Chris here from Spruce Creek Farms. to review the Power Fist one inch water transfer pump. I got this pump for about 199 bucks Canadian. Um, other than adding the one inch cam locks to both the intake and the outtake of the water pump, this is pretty much how I got it. It's a, it's a great little pump. It's, it's not too heavy. I figured for, uh, for collecting maple sap, it's, uh, I think it'll do the job. Um, I'm going to do a quick test to see how long, well, how fast it can transfer. It's just really, kind of simple. I'm just going to, I'm just going to fill up a 55 gallon tank. I'm going to connect the out tank of my, the, the, the valve of my tank to the intake and I'm just gonna I'm just gonna connect the uh, another extra hose I have to the exhaust or the outtake sorry and uh, and see how long it takes to drain about 55 imperial gallons not US gallons imperial gallons uh, with this pump currently I've been using a a, uh, a 12 volt transfer pump it takes about half an hour to, to to fill 55, my 55 gallon tank. And then it takes another half hour to empty it. So that's like an hour. And um, the maple season is short and I don't have that hour to spare. So I'm hoping that this pump will cut back a lot of time uh, transferring sap from one tank to another. Um, it's, it's pretty simple. I think, they, I think they call this a centrifugal pump. This is the, this is actually the pump body, this part here. The rest of it's just a small little, a little 98 cc um, power fist motor. I think it's from China. Don't ask me if you can get parts for it. I don't know. I'm, I'm hoping that it doesn't give me any problems. I, I did fill it up with 5W30 oil. It does come empty, so I filled it up with... Uh, 5W, sorry, yeah, 5W30. It does call for 10W30, but I, uh, I'm going to be using kind of a colder weather during the maple season, which is um, around the freezing temperature, just a little bit above freezing. So uh, I put 5W30 synthetic oil in it, hoping that it's uh, maybe a bit easier to start. Um, other than that, this is pretty much out of the box. It, it did come with some other... It did come with some other, um, came with a little tool, a little spark plug wrench, um, and it did come with some fittings for a one inch, one inch inside diameter pipe. So if you were to take this cam lock off that I put on, you can, you can put this on the end of a pipe. It's got a barbed fitting. You can put that in on the end of a one inch pipe and it'll allow you to, uh, I guess you would spin that on, on there. But I like the cam lock systems better. They, they're a lot easier to connect, as you'll see uh, during my test. Um, on off switch, low oil cut off in the case that uh, for some reason it runs low on oil. Um, air cleaner, muffler, it's got a uh, choke and a fuel shut off. So if you're not using it for a long period of time, I recommend shutting the fuel off, uh, shutting it off and then running it dry just to keep the carburetor from gumming up with all that old uh, gasoline. So let's, uh, let's go ahead and give it a test. Uh, I'm going to be testing um, draining 55 imperial gallons from my... Uh, from the sap transfer tank that I have. It's the tank I use to collect um, sap from my from my my buckets that I collect sap in, as well as my, uh, I'll be using this pump to transfer from my collection tank that I have. It's, it's about a, a 250 gallon uh, I, IBC tank that we, uh, we have some uh, tubing installations that we, we drain into. Uh, they're sitting at the bush and we'll use those to uh, sorry, we'll use this pump to transfer from those tanks into my, my transfer tank. And, uh, and then from the transfer tank, 
we'll transfer it into the tank that we we store the sap at, at the sap at, at the at the sugar shack. It's a, it's another 300 gallon tank. Um, it's up on a tower, so we'll be using this pump to transfer from my transfer tank up into the tower. It's only about maybe eight ten feet off the ground. Um, this pump is rated to pump up to I believe it's 85 feet high out of the out of the exhaust, and I believe it'll it'll take the intake and it'll it'll suck up from the, like a lower if you're like if you're sucking from down it'll suck up like I think it's 20 feet but correct me if I'm wrong anyways let's give it a shot if you have any questions leave them in the comments I I'll try and answer them if I if I if I know the answer I will answer them but if I don't I will admit it and tell you I don't know the answer anyways thanks for watching uh, please remember to uh, to like the video if you like it. Give it a thumbs up. And uh, if you want to subscribe, I hope to make a few more videos here and there uh, of just things around the farm that we do here. Uh, we cut a lot of firewood and uh, we do maple syrup in the spring. Um, got a couple of horses. We're going to try and learn how to team up a, a horse. Well, not really team up. We have a, we have a Clydesdale horse. We're going to try and and learn how to uh, hook, a, hook, him up to, hook her up to a sleigh and uh, maybe take her out for a ride around the field. And uh, this spring we're gonna plant some Christmas trees. So we might do a video on that. And uh, yeah, so just fun things around here. Anyways, thanks again. Let's uh, get this test going. Be more upfront with you if things get serious with it. You mentioned living together, that's what's in my mind. What do I know?